what is going on guys welcome to episode 9 and today as you can tell we are going to be facing Roma in this episode and this is a shorter episode because um, I haven't had a lot of time to upload but within the next episode I'm going to give you three matches you know so it's going to be three games we're going to be playing I think Chelsea I want to say in the next episode I don't know who it was it might have been Sevilla but yeah we do have a hard group in the Champions League and that is something I want to say we're getting right into the player training um, you know what that was a great training honestly you know B B B D and A which is awesome so Roma obviously as you saw early I praised Mohamed Salah up because I think that player is a very good player I think Chelsea were you know just stupid to let him go even though he might be on loan I believe he is if he is let me know but um I decided to do a little bit um of a change up in our lineup I believe I started Mateus Pereira because I thought we should um definitely attack them with pace on the wing so that was my main focus and something I want to get in this top is definitely the Euro 2016 tournament. I want to know who you guys are supporting. Me personally, I'm obviously supporting Portugal because that is my country. That is uh, the team I'm going to support. Hopefully, Ronaldo stays healthy and pulls on a good show for us. But because he, we are definitely going to need him. I really think that Portugal. I know many of my uh, subscribers are Portuguese, so if you guys agree with me on this, I really think we need to liven up that midfield. I think Thiago and um, players like Roman Elish. They need to get out of that team, you know, it's time for players like Ronaldo Sanchez, even though he's only 18 years old, to, you know, step up and be that, put on the kit and, you know, he has to represent his country and I feel like now is the time because he's in great form, you know, why not give him some confidence and uh, while he's playing with confidence, so that's definitely we know uh, we need to do obviously uh William Carvalho I believe he you know he has to start man he has to start for us if you see what if you guys watch sports in real life he's insane for sporting he's gonna go to a big team I hopefully you know I hope he goes to a team like Barcelona where he fits in that playing style not like a team like Manchester City or Man United because he has he's a possession based player he passes the ball a lot so Manchester United with their counter attacks it just it's just not his fit I hope he fits in a good team because that's what he deserves because he is a great player obviously we have other players that are coming through you know in Portugal but the number one thing in Portugal that kills us if you guys definitely I many of you guys are definitely going to agree with me on this I know this for a fact is our goalkeeper and um Rupert Patricio he just not I don't know honestly if I was a coach I would definitely start Beto and not Rupert Patricio because I feel like he's just much better than him but Rupert Patricio is just he's not good enough to put on that Portuguese shirt and represent us in the major tournament which is the Euro you saw what he did in the World Cup where he got benched I believe after the second game but my prediction on who's going to win it I definitely think it is going to be France guys um I know many of you guys are going to be like what uh maybe you guys are agreeing with me but let me give you the reason why the reason why I'm saying France is because they have the home they have home field the whole tournament and on top of that, they just have so many good players, you know, players that are coming up this year, like Dimitri Payet, like who would have guessed Dimitri Payet to be a, the outstanding sign, signing of the summer. And, um, you know, that's players like that that's coming up. You obviously have a great defense with uh, Laporte, you know, Varane, if he plays, Koscielny, who's obviously one of, if not the best center back in the Premier League. Many of you guys can discuss, uh, like argue that. But look at that goal by Adrian Silva. Sorry, I gotta pause myself. When I score this, you know, I'm not I'm not really good at FIFA or free kicks, but you know, I just I play to enjoy it. And uh, when I did that, I was going crazy. I didn't know how I scored that. Honestly, look at the angle I'm from. I was just I don't know. Maybe Chesney could have done better in real like there, but Chesney's just not a good goal either. But that's besides the point. Honestly, on that, that guy's doo doo. But you know. He's terrible, but back to what I was saying, France is definitely my option. I hope Spain does well because obviously as a Real Madrid fan, I um many Spanish players, I hope they do well, but for them to do well, they have to start De Gea, and that is something where they have to get past Casilla. Casilla is because he just, he had his time, he you know, is obviously legendary, you know, he's a great player, he's always going to be there for Spain, but what a goal by uh, Roman, by the way. He's always going to be there for Spain, but now it's time for De Gea, who's arguably one of the best goalies in the world right now. He needs to come up and perform. Obviously, we have other teams like Netherlands isn't in it. I know that. Um, but we have other teams like maybe England can do something. I do believe Harry Kane needs to be starting for England. I feel like it's time. It's just a new era of football. And that's something that we are so excited to look forward to. If you guys are excited to look forward to that, let me know in the comments below. But now all these players like Iniesta, it's their times are going out. And uh, it's new players that are coming through. Maybe Isco or uh, you know Thiago Alcantara. Who is just players like these and Ronaldo, Ronaldo Sanchez is coming up at 18 years old, just you know, filling in the shoes of these superstars, and it's just how it's gonna be. And France is that's why I think they're gonna be up there because you know they have a good goalkeeper, a solid you know defense, very good defense. The only thing they don't really have is a right back, and maybe I'm not like 
thinking of one right now as I'm recording this, but they don't really have a right back. Uh, their center backs are good. Kurzawa is a left back. As long as he's injury free, he's okay. And they even have Mendy from, I believe, Marseille. You know, in their midfield, Pogba, Matuidi, just all these good players. Paya, it's just crazy. And as a forward, they have Griezmann, um, Benzema, all these players that are just standout players that you see. And in goal, they have Loris. Like, these are just great players in Steve Mandanda. But as you can tell, I definitely think France will win. And I honestly hope they win. That's pretty cool for a home team to win, just like we saw Chile won the Copa America. But this is the end of the episode, guys. If you like this, leave a like, and your next episode will be out tomorrow. And there will actually be two episodes out tomorrow, not not just career mode, but also a foot draft. So if you guys are excited for that, leave a like and leave a comment. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.